resistance has shaken us up, wake us up, show us the way. And I want to share with you the mystery of the coronavirus. Coronavirus is not any new. It has been there. Now the name has come, the coronavirus. Before it was something else. The mystery has opened up. How much that opened up, we have no idea. Because we have no respect for this unlimited existence. The trees, the birds, the animals, the ocean, the mountains, total existence which we have. Now we have to realize ourselves that we are nothing. And that's what President Donald Trump is talking about. When you see his meeting with the, with the White House, with the, all the reporters, he's laughing because he is totally awake. On 13th of March, he announced the state of emergency. He knew because he's an experienced man. The CNN, Anderson Cooper, Fox News, Tucker Carlson, and all these eminent people, intelligent people, they're all dissecting. But if you look at these medias, they're all making you fear, confusion. But the existence is not confused. We should all become cautious like President Donald Trump. You know, he has gone to India. He went on 23rd of February. And he was there on 24th and 25th. And he was with respected Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who was weak, yogi, care about the country. And now you see the mystery of coronavirus, where it started. It started in China. It's all over there. They are working now. They are back to work. And now they have spread that fear to all over the world. And United States, now we have everything closed. But that is the best thing which we have done, the President Donald Trump, because that time is given to us to become cautious. We realize ourselves who we are. Same thing, respected Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who is a yogi, bless his heart, he has also shut the mother India. That's a beautiful thing. And I respect every one of you to please respect this existence because existence is unlimited. Then the life is unlimited. And we have a life, liberty, and happiness. And in the East, we have Sat Chit and Anand. We also have Satyam, Shivam, and Sundram. And if we are living with the existence, we have to be totally truthful. It's always honest. It will never tell lie. It is only our mind which is intellectual, which tells lies, which confuse people, and which is dissecting. It is sharp, like a razor knife. We should become all cautious. We should all become awake. We should all respect the unlimited existence. Look at the trees, they're smiling on us. They are going towards sun, they are going towards moon, and the earth is smiling on us because we are all sleeping. We are totally conditioned. We have taken everything granted. The coronavirus is a part of the universe, a part of our life. We should all be gratitude and thankful to this existence. And we should be in the present telling the truth to each other. And we should love each other. We should have a taste of well-being to all of us. We should all heal each other. We should serve each other. As you can see, the President Donald Trump yesterday, he was telling he wants to help the whole world. To give them a food. On top of that, money. He is a man who is now totally cautious because he has visited India. I tell you, 10,000 years ago, people used to live more than 300 years because they were all living with the existence. They were all conscious. Then the Mughals came. Then out of the Mughals, the Hindus came. And out of that, 
Sikh came. The Sikh religion started saving them from, from Mughals and then the British came in India. In 1947, the British left and now they have total independence in Mother India but has become totally material because they have copied everything from the West. And the West is becoming the East and that is the beauty and that's what we want. And if we become combine the East and West together, we can heal ourselves. We can become totally unconditional consciousness. And I want to share you my book, which called The Cancer Cure Without Chemotherapy and Radiation. And this book has signed by Vice President, beautiful soul, Michael Pence, on 26th of January when he was in Tampa. He asked me to give me his book, I gave him the book. And this book also has on back of it, cure prostate cancer, no more breast cancer. And that is, the coronavirus is a cancer. And this book teaches you step by step how to heal yourself, how to become totally unconditional yourself. You can not only heal from coronavirus, you can heal yourself from cancer, heart disease, diabetes, and Alzheimer and so on, and live more than 100 years. And I request all of you Go to our website, Jesus Nanak, J E S U S Nanak, N A N A K Nanak, dot com. Become a member, and we will send you the free book. There's no charge because the existence does not charge anything. Because these trees provide us with the oxygen, with all the energy, with all the immune system. But we are the people who are living with our intellectual mind and destroying this existence and time has come that we should all wake up we should become conscious and this book will teach you unconditional consciousness and I request all of you to please get the book work with your family doctor and your health practitioner so you can heal yourself so nobody <coughs> dies from this coronavirus and you can also heal yourself from heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and so on. And that's what President Donald Trump wants. He wants to get the economy back. He wants everybody to go to work. But now we are isolated. So we should all, everybody at 12 o'clock, learn how to breathe. Take a deep breath from your nose and go all the way to the belly button. Breathe. Do it for one minute at 12 o'clock every day till you have been isolated. And also do this exercise called the Prithyahara. This Prithyahara exercise is this. Put your thumb in your ears and you close your eyes, close your nostrils, close your mouth and do it for one minute. This is the exercise which has come from the East. But we should all do that. And I request all of you to please do this exercise and we should all pray together and love together so that we can all heal ourselves. I wish all of you a happy day. God bless. Namaste. Amen. Check. Nine minutes.